with every big name AAA game coming out, there's at least four other indie games coming out that I still need to play. If you don't know what an indie game is, it's basically a game made by some 20 year old who isn't following the rules set by some big name publisher. They normally don't cost $60, instead opting for a $20 price, which is good if you're gaming on a budget, and they normally follow a Kickstarter route, which helps them fund the game and overall just get the game buzzed up and hyped up. And I've said this before in the past, but my favorite indie game is Ukulele. <laughs> Mighty number <No>. 9. <laughs> Terraria. Before we start, I just want to say that all the gameplay that I'll be using um, except for the trailers, um, because that's not gameplay, I didn't even know why I said that. The gameplay that I'm using is from Pedguin's 20-hour marathon of Terraria when he reached 20,000 subscribers. Jesus Christ! If you want to go support him and see if he does any more crazy stuff like that again, then I would recommend go watching him. He's kind of like, a, he used to be Alteray, now he's doing some other videos and gameplay stuff. So that's cool, go check him out if you want to, and with that, let's get on with this video, finally. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite indie game of all time, Terraria. Now, I have done a review of this game almost a year ago. If you want to go check that out, you can. It's just in the totally reviewed playlist. But I, this isn't a review. This is not talking about what um, the game is like. It is kind of, but not all of it. I'm more talking about what the game is like, what the, what the game has done, the community, what they do, what the creators have done to create something so special for me. And that is what this video is. I, I love Terraria. Can I just say that first? I love this game so much. Seriously, it's amazing. When the first trailer dropped, this game was it was clear that this game was going to be a competitor towards Minecraft. And for a game released in 2011, that's a big deal. That's a really big deal because Minecraft was basically a king for multiple years. And people could argue that it's still the king but that's not I, I, that's not my opinion that's theirs but it emphasized less on building things and creating things and creating your own world it emphasized more on exploring the world that it was already given and creating yourself making yourself stronger making making your own adventure and doing whatever you wanted in this world it was about exploration it was kind of the kind of the opposite of minecraft but both games, they do have their similarities, even though you can build in Minecraft. I mean, not to Minecraft, Terraria. Even though you can, and it is fun. I have done it multiple times. It is fun in this game. That's not the, that's not the main focus. The focus is exploring the world. Exploring what you can do and exploring the world you can live in. Live in this world. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want with this world. And exploration is key to progressing through the game, and that's, I think, the best part about this game, is the exploration, which is good, because that's the main part of it! Finding things, and exploring the world, creating your own thing, and making new items, exploring what you can make, figuring out what you can make, making that, and then doing it all over again with something even better and stronger. That is what Terraria is about. That is what's amazing about it. There's just something so satisfying about progressing through the world, making your guys stronger. And as you play, you can easily tell, oh yeah, I was stronger. Not when you're fighting a harder boss with better stuff, but when you go back against those bosses. Because I trust trust me, you're going to have to fight bosses multiple times. That's what you have to do. It's you, There's definitely a sense of progression after you're done playing the game, or if you're close to f finishing your playthrough of one world and one character. That is what this game is about. This is such a unique game. It's so... I, I don't really see games like this anymore. This is such a unique gem of a game that I love it absolutely to pieces. And if there was a Switch port, I would already... I would, I would never come out of my room unless I was going to my friend's house to play more of it. <laughs> You want to go mining in the mines? You can do that in Terraria. You want to build your own house? You can do that in Terraria. You want to go to the depths of hell in Terraria? You can do that in Terraria. I think they made that clear. It's focus on gameplay and exploration is what keeps the player going for more and more. And then when you're playing through one world or one playthrough, this is, this is, it's where the game shines. It's where the game hits its peak and just creates all sense of wonder and love that I have for this game. That's where, that's where this game shines, and that is where I love this game so much. But there is one more thing I want to talk about this game, and it's the fact that the updaters and the content creators and the people who made this game, they are focusing so much, they're making, they're focusing so much on the updates and 
increasing the amount of content you have in the game. That is what they focus on with this game when they update it. They don't focus on adding small things and making a regular update every single year and releasing it and people get small spikes of interest in it again. No, they release huge chunks of updates with content and new bosses and new weapons. There is, if, you're, if you play Terraria, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know that I mean they release so much content in this game when they re release an update. That's what they do. They increase the amount of stuff you can do. That is awesome. I love that so much. This game always keeps me coming back. When I pick it up after another update, I'm like, wow, I feel weak again. I feel so puny and just like a loser. I never feel like I can get to the same level of progression I had before because the world is so much more and bigger and it's crazy. And that's what I love about this game, the fact that they're willing to make huge amounts of updates into this game. That is what I love about this game. And yes, it can get old real fast. <laughs> But that's not about it. If you if you may, if you come back after a few after an update or two, you'll love it again. You'll pick it up and you'll love it again. And that is what I adore about Terraria so much. Until I die, Mr. Funny out.